What is going on guys? Dr. D from One Hive Invicta here, bringing you a war recap from week two, uh, season two, CWL Rising. Uh, Invicta faced Trollstein this week. Both of us were coming into this 0-1, uh, looking for our first win, and um, Invicta was able to pull out that win. Uh, I, I mean, just before we get going here, I just want to say props to, uh, let's start with the Town Hall 9s, who I think provided about 10 scouts. Um, Town Hall 9s, clear the Town Hall 9s in, in record time here. I want to say something, you know, Trollstein had posted uh, on, on Twitter that our Town Hall 9s taught them something, and I'll tell you exactly what we taught them was that the Witch Slap is a very, very overpowered attack at Town Hall 9. Um... I would say that 90% of our of our triples at Town Hall 9 were some form of a witch slap. If you have not watched it yet, check out the video that Wiser and I did on the witch slap strategy. It is uh, such a, a, a great, great uh, attack style right now. I mean, it, 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 it is definitely base dependent, but it can be extremely effective. All right. Um... Props also to our 10s who, who knocked out their Town Hall 11s right off the bat and our 11s who all six-packed um, on, on Town Hall 10s, all but one because he hit a Town Hall 11. All right, let's hop over and have a look at the basic war statistics. So here are the basic war statistics. You can see um, Invicta put up 87 stars, Trollstein put up 83 stars, uh, 27 triples to 23 triples. Um, yeah. Let's hop over and check out the map. So you can see um, we were able to put up two stars on all of the Town Hall 11s, each of these done by a Town Hall 10. Um, and then we tripled everything else, uh, all 10s and all 9s. Um, huge props to our to our 10s and 11s who had a great war. Actually, our 9s did as well. Our 9s really set us up for, for victory here. Uh, they were able to, to uh, two-star all of our 11s. Um, they got that done right off the bat too. Props to them. Uh, they did not struggle at all. That that seems to be our uh, our weak spot is um, getting those two stars on Town Hall 11s. Uh, we're going to look at one of those today because I think it was a, a really nice attack. Um, they got a, a couple of Town Hall 10 triples. Uh, they were fully attacked by their by a Town Hall 11. Uh, this was a Town Hall 10 triple, so props to... <laughs> I don't even know how to say that, but uh, <laughs> very nicely done. Also, a Town Hall uh, 10, 10 v 10 triple right here. Um, and then you can see uh, they cleared all of our nines. Um, real quickly, let's uh, check out something here. You can see um, I actually on on uh, my my account, my my mini account, I guess uh, six defenses. That was a that was a nice space. I was finally cleared by a town hall ten. Um, so when you can do that, when you can put up uh, for, force a town hall ten onto a town hall nine after a lot of burnt attacks. Uh, it really sets sets the rest of you your guys up for um, uh, a better opportunity up top by forcing fewer attacks at Town Hall 10 or 11. Um, let's start today by looking at uh, our, our um, two-star attack on uh, number one here. This is Nate. Um, so Nate is coming in with a queen walk. You can see um, some bowlers. He's also got bowlers in the CC. Uh, got a golem and a baby dragon or a couple of baby dragons. Um, setting a funnel. Um, using this baby drag, I, I feel like our, we have best luck when people put um, when people don't have a hound in the CC when it comes to Town Hall 11. So uh, thanks for that. Um, he throws down a couple of Valks here to start setting this funnel. He's actually going to want to jump in right through here, or actually his Valks will rip in right through where that Valk is. Uh, continues setting the funnel here. Um, comes in with a golem and some bowlers. And now he's got a very nice funnel setter. He will here in just a second once uh, the rest of these things go down here, the rest of these defenses and buildings. Um, so uh, the goal now is just to drop in a jump and bring Valks in to rip through this wall right here. Uh, and that's exactly what they do. They jump in. He rages them right when they jump. Unfortunately, loses two of his Valks. He had seven, though. Uh, he had dropped three from the initial group, remember, but uh, Town Hall goes down. All of those Valks actually got pulled over to the Queen, and the Queen killed every one of those Valks, but the King takes down the Town Hall, finally pops his Queen's ability, and he's already at 50%, so he knew he was good at this point. 
Um, queen is going to go down right here. Uh, doesn't matter, though. That is it. Um, gets the two-star. Very nice job, Nate. All right. Um, we're not going to watch the other two two-stars. Um, actually, we're going to scroll down here and have a look at um, our first Town Hall 10v10 triple. This was by um, Monstrugo, and you'll see if we look down here, this is the Witch Bowler attack. I think he comes from this side. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he comes from another side. Oh, yeah, there we go. So he's coming in at 3 and 6 o'clock. Uh, witches and Bowlers um, starts by setting the funnel. This works um, very much the same way that the Witch Slap works at Town Hall 9. Um, I'll just say that uh, our, our Town Hall 9 Witch Slaps were just monster this war. Uh, in fact, Trollstein uh, posted uh, that our Town Hall 9s taught them something this war, and it was it was that Witch Slap. So uh, Monstrugo comes in. He's He's got a... Uh, um, a Max Pekka in there along with his bowlers and his uh, witches. Um, no more witches left in the center there. It's just bowlers at this point. Uh, and that right there is, is what causes the problem um, at, at Town Hall 10. And it is the, the amount of time that gets wasted trying to take care of that uh, CC hound. Um, anyway, uh, he's uh, burned through all of his spells at this point, but knows that his queen is going to be able to reach this. Uh, um, Inferno Tower, and she does. Uh, the Pekkas and, or I mean, uh, Bowlers and Witches continue working their way around. Uh, the beautiful thing about Witches at, at Town Hall 10 is um, when, the, when the outsides are caked with, or covered by point defenses, those point defenses just sit there and shoot at these skellies, and they can't shoot fast enough to cover all of the skellies that keep coming. And as you see, just loads and loads of skellies here. Um, the the uh, witch has become a really, really valuable troop, um, especially at, at Town Hall 10, but um, at, at Town Hall 9 as well. Okay, uh, let's come down here. Where was it? Here we go. Tiger Hood. This is also Bucko, and also um, coming with one of these uh, bowler uh, witch attacks. You'll see again the same strategy. Uh, sending in uh, witches and a few bowlers to set the funnel. Instead of a P.E.K.K.A., um, he comes in with a level 5 Golem to tank here a little bit. Um, knows exactly where a Tesla is going to pop, and so throws that Golem down right there to tank for that. Has another Golem over here, so we've got a Shattered Entry. Out comes the Hound, and uh, those Golems do a great job of tripping those giant bombs, which can be deadly for, for bowlers. These bowlers are still pretty squishy. Um, Queen takes care of that uh, takes care of that CC Hound, but th those pups just hang around and continue to kind of eat at troops. Uh, if you've got a CC Hound, uh, then we know that we have to use a heal. That's an extra spell that's getting, getting spent just to manage the, the, uh, the pups that wind up coming out of there. Um, but... He is just about through here. He had a couple of hogs. He threw one hog over here, took out a mortar. Another hog over here takes out a uh, Tesla. And at this point, it is pretty much over. This is amazing. This queen almost dies here. Just a little bit of health left. Now, she is actually going to die once this uh, archer tower finishes off its last. There we go. <laughs> queen takes one shot from the archer tower, but it doesn't matter. This is three stars in the bag. Very nice job, Bucko. All right. What is next? Frank, no, Adam. Ah. This was a very cool attack. We're going to watch two of these done two different ways, but this is a quad Lalo with a Zap Quake. You can see uh, I'm going to zap that um, right there. Uh, queen is accessible. She's going to jump this wall. And when she jumps that wall, the king will come after her. Um, there we go. Queen is gone. And uh, this was a cleanup, and I'm pretty sure that it was a CC hound. So um, he knew that he did not need to uh, pull the CC. Or, and in fact, um, if it's a hound and you're going to do an air attack, you should try to not pull the CC. So... Um, two, uh, two hounds down, 
Um, he does something interesting here. I, I say this all the time. I would much rather have that Max Hound pop, so I like to get that Max Hound in there early. Um, you'll see here the Max Hound actually, I don't think the Max Hound winds up popping here. Um, but uh, still a very, very nice attack. Uh, one air defense left up and lots and lots of, oh, it is actually going to pop, I think. Lots and lots of, of uh, loons to go yet. Still has six loons in the bag. Got a heal spell, got a haste. Um, drops that haste right there, and he's going to use this heal to kind of cover taking uh, hits while over by this expo. Uh, but that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, BDE. And there we go. All right, next, let's look at Bella. Bella does a Witch Slap here. And so this is uh, one of about four different ways to do this Witch Slap. Uh, she's going to come with um, Witches and two healers on either side, do a great job setting a funnel. That's what we like to see. Um, these uh, air defenses, unfortunately, are, are you know, this is this is a, a rough spot right here, um, but uh, even though once once that uh, once those healers are gone, these witches are going to continue to spawn skellies, and you've got just a lot of point defenses. You do have a, a couple of um, splash defenses here that can be deadly for witches. Uh, fortunately, the queen is along there with them. Um, down to one bowler in the core, and this is a little bit scary. Uh, King is in the core there, uh, has a bowler and a witch. Now, fortunately, the CC Hound has decided to lock on to the stuff in the core here, and so uh, it, it isn't going to hurt a whole lot. Um, the the witch, or the, that CC Hound can eventually pop, and I think it does eventually pop here because the witches just sit there and, <laughs> and pound on it. Um, maybe it doesn't, actually. I, I, I don't know. Uh, at any rate, um, the rest of these troops are working their way around. Uh, lots and lots of skellies uh, working on the walls here, distracting that um, that uh, uh, expo, and that is about it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Bella. All right. Uh, what do we have next? Bazu. We're going to watch one of Bazu's, but not that one. Actually, I think it's this one. Let's see here. Yeah, so Bazu is coming with a double jump Gobaho and a very nice funnel set on this side. Drops a baby drag there to speed that funnel along a little bit. One jump down and he's going to come in with some, he's got 10 Valks and, and a bowler in the CC. Uh, pours those in and let's get in here and watch this. So uh, Valks are in. Um, the, he double poisons the CC there, and there comes that second jump. Um, they're going to rip up that, that um, expo real quick, and now he starts trickling in hogs. Now, what I love about this attack is, you'll see here in a second, um, it looks like it's about to peter out. And he stays very, very patient with these last four hogs. Waits until the queen works her way around... I believe it's the queen. Let's see here. And so he's just sitting here. He's waiting. He's got some Valks beating on the walls. Those four hogs are still just sitting in there. Queen does not make it. She dies. Oh, it's the Valks that come around. So Valks are going to run around the base here. And he's still sitting there with those hogs, just patiently waiting for the Valks to get over there and provide some tank. And here in just a couple of seconds, there they go. So Valks are in there. They're tanking for those point defenses in with the Hogs. And the Hogs wind up finishing off this base. There we go. And it is Tree Stars. Great patience by Bazu. Really liked that attack. Uh, things don't always wind up going perfect, but uh, it, was, it was a very, very nice effort. So this is Lee, and he's coming. It's actually Victory. I, um, who's on one of Lee's old accounts. So when you've got uh, an exposed king, king and queen, or especially an exposed queen CC, 
Um, that is a recipe for a penta. And, and the nice thing about pentas is, is they don't have to be perfect in order for things to go very, very right. And that's what happens here. Uh, he comes in with two hounds. Um, I mean, I probably would have put a hound here to start with and then worked up. Starting in the center is kind of a scary spot to come with a couple of hounds um, because your loans are going to split and they're going to go top and bottom. Uh, worked out because pentas tend to be extremely overpowered. Um, still has got one hound in the uh, in the bag. There it comes, and, and a back end hound as well. Uh, probably could have used a heel here for this Tesla farm. Uh, I believe this was a fresh hit though, so didn't exactly know uh, what to expect. But there we go. Um, does not drop that max hound and an extra spell to boot. All right. Let's go down here, Ant-Man. Mitch, yes. So, uh, this is a, another quad with a Zapquake, and I like the way that he does this. Um, let's just check this out. He's going to zap that top AD, and then throw just a couple of loons. Look at all those loons. He, he brought 23 loons. Um, so one of the things that I love about Zapquake with a, a quad Zapquake is you can afford to bring a lot more loons. You know, with your traditional Penta, you're talking a max of 20 loons, and that's if you're just using loons and no other troops. Uh, winds up popping that queen ability pretty early there. Um, what I love about this is rather than bringing um, poison spells for the queen, um, which you can see he's not going to get the queen here, he brings a skelly spell. Uh, doesn't wind up using it on the queen. Um... You'll see here, uh, Queen just gets crushed by those, uh, by those uh, pups. So he throws the Skelly spell down on that last AD, which worked beautifully because he did not have. Uh, I mean, he he was all out of hound, uh, uh, hounds. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's early. And that is it. Three stars in the bag. Nice job, Mitch. All right. There was one more. Or maybe there was two more. Swap gnome. So this is a, um, a, a uh, Bolalo. Haven't seen these a lot, but I'll tell you what. In the past uh, four wars, I think I've gotten six packs, all with Bolalo. So... Uh, still very overpowered. Just got to find the right base for it. So with this, we knew that there were actually springs right here. And so um, Swapnil is bringing in his kill squad uh, over on this corner and bringing the, the bowlers in on that corner in order to avoid the springs that are sitting over here. And so you can see he avoids the, the giant bomb. He avoids the, the uh, spring traps, which are can just be the worst. With the, the first attack here, three bowlers were lost to spring traps. So um, gets that rage down quick, and those bowlers run right right past that giant bomb. Doesn't doesn't even phase them. Uh, so now um, down to just two air defenses, and the queen is going to take care of one of those air defenses right here. Um, I love this. Drops a hound, and then drops those uh, loons right behind the hound to take out these point defenses very quickly. It's unfortunate that that giant bomb or that black uh, seeking air mine did not follow the uh, hound on the way up there, um, but it wouldn't have made it far anyway. Uh, anyway, we are about finished. Just a couple of defenses left. This hound does pop, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. And that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nothing but cleanup. Nice job, Swapnel. And look at all of those bowlers still up. All right. And one more. What were we going to watch here? I think, it, I think that was the one I wanted to watch. Yes. Okay, so um, I, I actually really like this, and, and just uh, 
it's not so much the, the, the case on this base, but a lot of these new meta bases that are packing air defenses right next to each other um, have made them extremely vulnerable to hog attacks. So he throws in just a couple of hogs. Um, the goal here is to just take out this uh, bomb tower, which is a is you know a big hog threat. Two hogs takes out a bomb tower and trips a spring, which is fantastic. That's great value for a hog. Um, drops his jump spell, and you can see that this is a, a shattered entry with two jumps. So uh, double jump, path is cleared. Um, has has tripped now two of the double bo giant bombs. Um, those can be a big problem for both bowlers and for hogs. Now the scary thing is he has not gotten gotten rid of this queen yet, um, and queens are a huge threat when it comes to hogs. However, his queen is in there. She's stepping up. His bowlers are still pushing through the center of this base. Um, both golems are still up at this point, and he starts bringing in hogs on the opposite side of the uh, side that the queen is on. Once his queen locks onto the enemy queen, brings in hogs from the queen side. They're all going to kind of converge right around this area. No spells for hogs. Oh, he's got a heal yet. My bad. Right there, heal comes down. Um, in perfect timing. I mean, you've got a giant bomb there. They're working on that expo. And that is it. Got just a couple of defenses left. Unfortunately, a troll Tesla over here. I believe this was a fresh hit. So uh, had it not been a fresh hit, he would have had a loon for, just for that troll Tesla. Um, pops his queen's ability. And that is it. Uh, we'll speed this up here. Going to get that troll Tesla. And then it is nothing but cleanup. A few cleanup wizards down. And it is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Teriteco. All right. So, uh, once again, there are the final war statistics. Um, it, was a, it was a fun war. Uh, this moves us to 1-1 one one in the CWL Rising. And uh, until next time, this is Dr. D saying Clash Hard.